Let's talk about acute respiratory distress syndrome, or ARDS. ARDS is considered to be the most severe form of acute lung injury. Most nurses working in med surge, critical care, ICU, and emergency room settings will work with clients with ARDS at some point in their careers. ARDS is a serious respiratory condition where nursing assessments and interventions can make a huge difference. A nurse should be on alert for ARDS in clients who are ill from sepsis, shock, trauma, fractures, pneumonia, pancreatitis, fluid overload, or inhaled chemical exposures. ARDS is usually a consequence of these conditions. When doing nursing assessments, suspicion for ARDS should arise if you observe that a client continues to have declining oxygen saturation that doesn't respond to increasing fraction of inspired oxygen, if you hear crackles, ronchi, or decreased breath sounds, if you observe dyspnea, tachypnea, respiratory distress, and altered mental status including agitation and confusion. These observations should prompt investigations including imaging. Bilateral infiltrates are diagnostic for ARDS, and ABGs will typically show respiratory acidosis. Nursing diagnoses for ARDS include impaired gas exchange, ineffective breathing pattern, ineffective airway clearance, ineffective peripheral tissue perfusion. But let's not forget we should also think about the whole person and help address our clients and their families' fears and anxieties about this condition. Lastly, activity intolerance is a real consequence for clients who survive ARDS because up to 50% are unable to return to work within one year. Nursing Interventions we do our usual nursing cares for clients with ARDS, including close monitoring and assessments, usually in the ICU, administering medications, but there are two nursing interventions that a nurse can do which can increase survival by clients by almost 40%. These two interventions are prone positioning and making sure that mechanical ventilation is maintained at the prescribed settings. A study published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2013 by Guerin and Company shows that clients who received usual care had a 41% mortality versus 24% for those in prone positioning for about 16 hours each day. Nurses can do prone positioning old school style or rentable rotabeds are also available. The theory behind prone positioning is that because the lungs act as a sponge, having the heart and mediastinum inferior allows larger and more air-filled alveoli to be recruited. In this CT scan, you can see that with the heart on top, gravity pulls water downwards and creates a shunt with alveolar space. But with the heart below, in the prone position, you can see that a lot more airspace is created on top. Additionally, maintaining the prescribed ventilation settings is important because settings that are too high can actually cause trauma to the alveoli. ARDS is a serious, life-threatening, and emergent condition. It will take a whole team to help our clients survive and recover from ARDS. Nurses play an important role by making sure that the mechanical ventilators are maintained at the prescribed settings and by maintaining the client in the prone position. You can make a big difference. Thank you for watching.